You must be proud of your team. I am, yeah. I thought they worked tirelessly. I thought putting a real shift against them. We know they're a good side. And it took until the 79th minute to break us down and then the last one in the 89th was just probably didn't deserve that. But, um, but it happened and you know, we, we weren't as offensive as I'd like to be, but they're a good side. Um, we, we wanted the boys to show a lot of work right and show some ability with the ball and, 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 and they nearly did the ability with the ball, the work right was outstanding. One or two individuals were, were superb, the system again suited us um, and they couldn't break us. Trevor said at half time I've not touched the ball and, and that was exactly right, um, not a save to make, we'd really have too much second half, just, just we switched off for the goal um, and then in the last minute we, you know, we have tried to press and the ball's broken. Has made a good run with a pill for offside and it wasn't offside. So, um, yeah, delighted. I think the, the crowd were, you know, pleased that we we gave a good, good show for ourselves. You know, and, and, until the, you know, you're hoping you come to a place like this, you're hoping that you might nick a set piece or you know a little bit of magic from somebody. They showed glimpses, but, but probably not enough with the ball. We had to do a lot of work without it today, and you know, unfortunately, just come and stuck at the end. Jack. Uh you played up the road, just up the road at uh, Eastbourne last season, but uh, how did it feel playing out there on this fantastic stadium tonight? Yeah, it's uh, slightly different, obviously, uh, the levels of the club. And um, I've, I've said all along, obviously, I was very grateful to, for, for Eastbourne for what they did for me last season. And it sort of gave me that platform to start playing games. And then the aim is obviously to, to start playing games for Cheltenham. And what better way to do it than obviously playing in a stadium like this. And I've lived down here for for about a year now obviously playing with Eastbourne so it's a great occasion that obviously my family can be here and come and watch and it was obviously special that it was my debut as well. And uh, you know two very tough strikers to come up against in O'Grady and Mikhail Smith. Yeah they are, they're, they're obviously at this level for a reason, they're, they're, they're known for obviously going and scoring goals and, and they obviously pose a threat but I thought um, I thought we, we dealt with them quite well, it took them obviously a, a long time to break us down and I thought our team performance was, was spot on in terms of we stuck to, stuck to our tactics. Um, with what the manager wanted us to do and then obviously I think that, that that bit of class showed at the end that they've got that so when did he tell you you were going to play uh, he told me yesterday morning um, so it, was, it wasn't sort of just sprung on me I had a had a bit of time to sort of take it all in and um, obviously with 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 Matty Taylor it was always going to be the chance that I could could be involved in this game and yeah he, he came and spoke to me before training tomorrow morning so I had the, the full day to prepare myself nervous <laughs> yeah I was I was a bit um, it was not only my, my debut for Cheltenham, but my sort of first senior professional debut. So it was um, I was a, was a bit of nerves before it, but then sort of just got on with it as soon as as soon as the game kicked off, and they they, they soon went.